Hey, today on Kids Craft Lab, we are going to make a paper quilt. And it's a really fun art plus science experience. And if you have a lot of scraps, um, you can make use of those in a really beautiful way. So to get started, um, all you need is some paper, some construction paper, and some glue sticks, probably some scissors, and a ruler, and some lo lots of different colors of paper. So I'm gonna turn my camera over to my table so you can see what we're doing, and we'll get started. There we go. Well, there it is. And I'm going to take this square by square. You know, I've always loved quilts ever since I was a little kid and my grandma made me one. And I always like to make them out of fabric. But now, today, we're going to use just paper. So I'm going to take it square by square and show you how to do it. Actually, there's two ways to do it. There's one that, that's really fun. And not only do you learn about art, but you also learn about fractions and proportions and things like that. And there is a way that you can just do, I, I love crazy quilts too, and we're gonna show you how to do it the easy crazy quilt way too. Okay, so there's what we're shooting for, and here's how we're gonna get there. First you need a background paper, and I have a big honk and honk of black construction paper. And this one is, is a double, it's double wide. So the standard piece of construction paper is nine by 12, and that only covers half of my big honking piece of construction paper. So I'm gonna fold my construction paper for my backing in half. So I have two that are the same. Okay, so I'm gonna crease it, and I can tear it, or you can cut it. And for me, it's a little faster to tear. So there is my backing. Pretty cool. That's what we're gonna glue things to. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it square by square and um, let's make six squares out of the other half or another piece of black construction paper. Or if you don't have black, you could use any color that you want actually. I just use black because it makes everything show up really cool. So here's my other half, and it's the same size as the other one. So now what I'm going to do is fold this in half, but I'm not going to fold it the short, whoops, the short way. I'm going to fold it the long way. Can you see that there? I'm going to fold it in half the long way. So. That's my first fold because I'm going to make some. Actually, they're going to be rectangles. And then I'm going to tear it again, right, in half the long way. Now, we want to make six squares that are about the same. So how are we going to do that? We're going to make three out of this one and three out of this one. So. You can measure it with your ruler, because it's 12 inches wide, and divide 12 by three, and you get four inches. So each one of these squares would be four inches. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if you're having trouble measuring and that sort of thing, I'll show you how to do it just by folding. So there's my four inches. Make a little mark. So if we want three out of there, we're gonna, one, two, three, we're gonna fold it in thirds. So I took my little mark and I fold it down. And then I turn it over and I fold it down again. There, can you see now when I open it up that I have four sections, one, two, three? Did I say four? I meant three, huh, my goodness. Um, so now I'm gonna cut those. So now I have three squares, three squares to work on. I'll do the same thing. It's hard to see with all this black stuff here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this. First, I'm gonna find my four. Whoops, you can't even see what I'm doing here. There we go, there's my four. And I'm gonna fold it over on the four mark, or you can mark it with a pencil or, or whatever. And then I'm gonna fold it over again. 
So I have three more squares, actually rectangles, that are the same size for my quilt. So now I have six of them. I'm ripping, but you can cut. Okay, and if you need some help from an adult to do that, that is perfectly fine. So now, <clears throat> I am going to pick one of the easy patterns that we can do together. I'm gonna to pick the square. The squares, there we go, I pulled it off. Okay, so what colors do you think you wanna use? You wanna use kind of contrasting colors? I used orange and yellow, and how did I do that? Well, there's my four inch square. So I am going to, show you how I did that from a piece of yellow paper. Okay, whoops, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Here's my yellow paper. And that's the nine by 12, so I'm gonna fold it in half the long way. There, I got half again. And then there's my third. And fold, fold it or cut it. And there we go. I got the same size now. I want one that's that size. So I'm gonna fold in half and fold in half. So that actually holds my half and half and I get quarters. And there we go, I got squares. Whoops, I didn't cut that very good. Trim it. I got four yellow squares. And the other <laughs> color that I decided to use was orange. And I already cut some orange squares to you so you don't have to watch me do that again. So now we have a square to make like that. So here's one that we cut a minute ago and let's place them on. So it's like there's the orange and it's a pattern. Yellow and then opposite and yellow. There we go. So we could glue those together like that to make a square like I did here or if you want to and you have a lot of scraps of a lot of different sizes, you could do it the crazy quilt way. <laughs> and what that means is if, if you have lots of, lots of scraps and you just want to cut some things that are approximately a good size to use, well, that looks like a square and that looks like a square and maybe I want a Another little square. Actually, those are rectangles. Rectangle rectangles, and I got a bunch. And I'm just cutting kind of some of the shapes that I want from any kind of paper that I've got, any kind of color that I want. Let's see, there's a little piece. Maybe I want some more like that, or like that, or a big one like that. And so then I can arrange them in the colors that I want and glue those down. And I have a crazy quilt. And for some of you who are just learning to use scissors or just learning how to measure, that might be a fun way to do it, but it's super gorgeous. So I'm going to glue that one together because I already have this one glued together. Okay, so I just layered it. I went, whoops. Glue, glue, glue. And this is kind of funny. We learn about contrasting colors and sizes and shapes of things. Here we go. Ooh, here's my big green one. I like that. Okay. And another yellow one. And another green one. Okay. So there I have two 
cool, <laughs> cool, two cool squares, and two different ways to do it. One to learn about proportions and sizes and shapes, and the other just to learn about shapes and colors and how they fit together. Okay, so now let's see what else, what other. Let's do one with strips. We'll use this one. Okay, so if you're using, got to pick out the colors that you like. And so today I think I am going to use pink and <laughs> maybe some more yellow and and I'll, I'll decide in a minute but I think maybe I'll just use two colors so there's my paper again and again I'm gonna fold it the long way to get my proportion size and do a rip And then the thirds, because I want three squares <laughs> that are about four inches. And I rip the cut, those apart, and we're going to do some stripes with this one. Okay. So I have three that are all the same size, and I choose for this block. <laughs> okay, so what I did was. I took a color that I wanted to use, like my pink here, and I want to make some stripes that are a proportion to fit on there. How many of them are on there? One, two, three, four. I want four. So I'm going to fold my pink in half, and I have two. I'm going to fold my pink, my half of pink in half. And now when I open it up, you'll see four lines or four folds. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna cut those. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. And I said I was going to use yellow. So I have a half a yellow one right here. So I don't know what happened to the other half. <laughs> So I'm going to cut, pull that one in half and do my other stripes. Let's see. I, I know I'm going to have extra pink stripes because I made four. So there we go. One. And I make a pattern. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Spread around a little bit. That's better. Okay. So I could glue that together, like I hope you're doing, or what if I didn't want to do that? What if I, I'm a little bit younger and I need to do something different and I'm just learning how to do scissors. What if I just had a scrap of yellow or a scrap of another color and I decided I was just gonna try and practice and do strips. Okay, so here's my scrap. So I'm using my scissors and I'm just cutting and cutting and cutting the way I am practicing to do. And I'm gonna stick them on there anywhere I want. Maybe I want to do one across there. And then, oh yeah, my other color was pink and I'm just practicing how to use my scissors and cut strips and so maybe they don't turn out so even, but they look really cool, check this out. So you can do, and maybe I screw up and uh-oh, that one didn't turn out so good. And maybe I have a real short one. That's okay, because you're learning how to do scissors. And let's glue that one together. Ooh, I really like that. So an easy way is to put a whole bunch of glue, if you're younger, all over the big square, because it's easy to hold rather than to try and glue each little teeny tiny piece. Then you can put your stripes back down there anywhere you want to do I made an X <laughs> cool and I am gonna make a pink X oh that almost looks like tic-tac-toe right I love it so there we go and I'm just putting all my cool 
stripes that I put together. And it looks kind of neato, doesn't it? So you can do it this way to learn how to do proportions and fractions, or you can do it another way too. <laughs> that looks pretty. <laughs> and that's for learning how to put things together. So now, oh my goodness, what one are we gonna do now? I think we should try to do this one. Okay, so you already know how to make your, um, your stripes. You take a square that you have and you fold it in quarters. Okay, I have some more yellow, so I'm gonna make some stripes out of yellow. So first I have to do my thirds. And you already know how to do your stripes. You take that square and you fold it in half. Then you fold it in half again. And then you cut it or tear it. There's your even stripes. Oh, mine didn't turn out so easy this time. And I think I want another color to add to this. So I'm using this kind of bluey green color and I'm quickly folding it in half the long way. I know this is a lot of repeat folding, but you can get a lot of practice there. I'm folding it so there'll be three. And there is my, my square that's the same size. And then here I go, folding it. This one's a little odd. Fold it in half and fold the half in half. And I got quarters, one, two, three, four, with a little tail on it. I gotta cut that off. Okay, okay so more stripes now. Now I've got green and yellow, sort of a green blue, and I've got stripes to work with. So let's see what we're gonna do. There's my square to glue it to. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I really like the way that, oops, that, that has a big stripe right across both ways. So I'm gonna make an X. First with one color, then with the other color. Aha. Oh, you know what? And I got a little bit left over of pink because I want to make another one right in the middle. So I'm going to kind of cut a square to put in the middle. Look at that. Woohoo! And I'm going to use, <laughs> I'm going to use some more of that pink stripe to put on the corners. Like, and I'm gonna turn them on their edge. Whoops, that one's a little too long. I'm gonna turn them on their edge. And then maybe, oh, you know what? I have, I have a little, I have a little bit of orange. I am gonna try to see if I can do some orange ones. There, orange, orange. Okay, so that's how I did that. But if you just like to make X's with some of your strips, that would be very cool. Let's do that. So if you have some strips to work with, you can, <laughs> I'm gluing things to myself. Okay, I can make an X with my strips. And over like that. And I'm going to see how tiny I can make my squares. If you're just learning to do scissors, see how tiny you can make your rectangles. And then you can put them on anywhere you want. Let's see. Do I, I need some pink ones. I want to make some pink ones like this. And I, maybe I'll make a pattern. There we go. Ding, ding. Orange, pink, orange. And it doesn't matter what size they are. Oh, what comes next? Orange, pink, orange, pink. Oh, a lot of orange. 
I'll just move them over a little bit. There, that works. Ta-da! So you can do what you want. And like, if you wanted to fill up with those with those, you could just use some squares like that. Oops, that one's too big. Or whatever you like to do. Whatever starts to look good to you. <laughs> All right. So um, we could glue. We already got part of that glued together. So I'm gluing those crazy squares on. So we've made one, two, three, four squares already. So I think I'm going to change it up just a little bit and maybe show you how to do some triangles for the next two. What do you think? Okay. So there we have our three squares. So we're going to do um, some triangles. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Let's do big triangles, the one with big triangles. That's this one. Big triangles. <laughs> That's the easiest one, I think, to do. And here's my base square. And here is a four inch square that I cut already in pink. And I want big triangles. So what am I going to do? Hmm. I am going to fold it my corner up to the other corner and crease it. See how I did that? Okay, and then, oops, it's not even. I gotta cut it off. All right, so I have two big triangles. But they're the same color, I want a different one. Whoa, and you know what? I need to cut these triangles in half again. It doesn't look the same, does it? Let's see, did I match it? Not yet, I just have two big triangles. So what should I do? Oh, I know, I'm gonna fold it again. I'm gonna fold my big triangles in half again, and now I think I've got it, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Now I'm getting there. Now I am getting there, and I put it right there. But I need a different color, right? So I'm gonna use yellow because I've got some already almost cut. I got a four inch thing and I'm gonna take and fold it. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing, I just folded it. I didn't do a very good job either, wait. <laughs> I'll fix it. Okay, now I've folded corner to corner and I'm gonna cut <laughs> right across there. Now I have my second color and I, but it's too big, right? So I'm gonna fold it again. And let's see what I've got now. I have pink and yellow. I need another pink one cut in half. So here we go quickly. And pink and yellow. Okay, so two pinks. Can you see that? And then two yellows. Ta-da! <laughs> so I matched what I did here. But let's say you didn't want to do all that crazy folding and everything like that. Let's see how we can just do a whole bunch of really cool triangles and what will that look like. Um, triangles have three corners, one, two, three. So I have a little piece here, and I see one, two, three. I'm just gonna cut. Oh, there's a cool one. Triangles don't have to be even all the time, and then I have a, another part of that square, so I'm gonna cut some more. Whoa, check it out, I have some other triangles. Each one of them, oops, this one isn't totally true. Uh, each one of them has three corners, one, two, three. Cool, so I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of triangles as I'm cutting my paper scraps. Check that out, whoa, sweet. And that's hard to put, to turn into a triangle, but I think I can do it when I cut corner to corner. 
Ooh, that's a little funny skinny triangle, but one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, sweet. So that's what I'm going to glue together. So if you don't do fractions and proportions, you can do fun cutting and gluing them anywhere you want. And if you like, you can actually add more colors. I got a strip here, right? I'm gonna cut, I, I love cutting triangles. It's just so easy. I just go cut, 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 and just make sure I got three corners, and I just made three green ones that I'm just gonna add in whatever color you like. Woohoo! <laughs> triangles, check it out. Okay, so it's getting a little messy here on my desktop table. But look what we did. We did a whole bunch of cool ones. Now I think we've got, what, four? And we did triangles. Yeah, we did triangles. So now the other one that I'm going to do before we, before we stop is one that looks a little bit like that. Well, how am I going to... How am I going to do that? <laughs> well, I think I'm going to use, whoops, I better trim this up. It doesn't look very even, does it? I'm going to make this into an exact square by cutting off a little bit of it. So I start, there's my square. And I have one that's almost the same size, and I'm going to just turn my square like that. A square on top of a square. So you can just figure out what shapes that you want and turn them different directions. And that's how I made this one. I just turned it a different direction. See, one, two, three, four. So I turned this one. I could fold it down like that, and it would be the same size, but I want it to look more like a diamond. So I turn my square like that. And it's a little too big because it's hanging off the edge. That's okay. <laughs> and so I want to layer it. So I'm going to cut another one that's almost square. And how do I want that to look? Do I want that to look diamondy? Oops, that's not right. Do I want it to look diamondy or do I want to just put a square right in the middle? I think I'm just going to put a square right in the middle. So you can kind of make this up as you go along. Oops. And do patterns. So now I want some yellow in there to make it look diamondy. So I'm going to try to do a square and another square. And you can make your own patterns. There we go. So I hope yours is turning out like you like it. So, and it may be that you only want to do part of it right now and then pick it up later when you get some more ideas. But, oops, <laughs> I'm going to trim mine a little bit because it's hanging off the end. But that'll still look cool. So I have squares and diamonds and triangles and stuff. And there's my last square that we're going to do today together. But there you go. So I'm going to put all of mine, <laughs> I'm going to put all the ones that we made back onto a quilt, onto the backing of your quilt. And then they'll all be together. And we'll show you what that looks like. My space is kind of messed up here because we have so many scraps there, it's starting to come together. So here's one that we did together. And here's one that we did together. And there's one that we did together. So there it is. There is a crazy cool quilt with either proportions and, whoops, and fractions like this, or fun and crazy. So there we go. And you can keep working on it, and you can make it bigger and bigger. If you have another sheet of paper, you can make it and expand it and 
do a whole nother, a whole nother four squares. And it'll get bigger and bigger. Just keep adding it. <laughs> so that's it for now. And I'm going to turn it back to the regular camera. Whoops. And say goodbye. There we go. So I hope you had some fun with all the paper whoops and the scraps that you have. I hope you learned a little bit about folding proportions and math. <laughs> and join us again next time on Kids Craft Lab. seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is gonna push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. Work on as fast as 